It is Wednesday, and that means our plant and garden expert, Craig Hignite, is joining us in studio, taking your plant and garden questions through the WQED Facebook Live. So let's kick it off with Lisa. When do I dig canna bulbs? Canna bulbs, remember, it's two weeks after we get a killing frost. You cut them off the day that they, they get frosted, lay the Ooh. tops on the crown, and let the ground cool down <laughs> for a couple of weeks before you dig them up. I clearly did not turn my volume off before we started this, but anyway, Candy asked, what's the best way to winter a plumeria? Plumeria. Oh, I did it. Plumeria. That, that's, uh, <laughs> you see a lot of these in Hawaii, and they're quite often used to make the lays that uh, people wear in Hawaii. It needs just a nice sunny area, run it to the dry side, I can guarantee that it's probably going to go dormant, lose all its leaves, watch the watering. It'll come through just fine and start leafing out again between Mother's Day and Memorial Day next week, year. All right. All right. Judy has a question, and it's she's had a problem for 30 years. Oh. She's talking about chives. How does she get rid of them? Oh, chives. Well, chives can be a, a toughie. You what, you, what you want to use is a um, broadleaf weed killer, like poison ivy killer is what I'd use, and I would actually add a little surfactant to the spray. When you put it on, chives are like cabbage, cauliflower. It sheds water. <laughs> it doesn't stick to the plant. By making the water a little wetter with the surfactant, it will stick and it will kill the plants. Of course, keep it off any desirable plants. It'll take them out too. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And Alexa asked, what are the best plants for beginners that can survive Midwest winter? Oh. There's so many easy things. You've got the, uh, the cone flowers, the rudbeckias, uh, butterfly bush, butterfly weed. Uh, there are a jillion perennials out there for up in the shade. You use hostas, uh, coral bells, things like that. There are a lot of very, very tough perennials for use in the Midwest. Chad is wondering how long you can pick cucumbers before you can no longer eat them. Until they turn yellow. I mean, well, unless you're growing, there is a yellow variety of cucumber out there. But no, you want to pick them at a reasonable size, usually between 8 and 10 inches long. After that, the seeds start to fill out inside the cucumber, and it doesn't affect the taste, but, but you have to throw away so much of the inside of the cucumber. So just figure 8 to 10 inches on most cucumber, it's going to be ripe and still a nice dark green. All right, and Mick asks, what can you do about the little white moths like bugs, mostly around cherry tomatoes? Uh, well, if it's what I'm thinking of, it is white fly. They're very small. They fly when you touch them. I would be spraying the plant with all-season oil spray. And remember, since tomatoes are a summer crop, you have to get on top of it early, and you spray at dusk. Oil sprays and sunlight do not mix. John says, uh, much of their lawn is still dormant. Do I need to bring it out of dormancy by watering prior to cooler temperatures? I'd let Mother Nature take care of it. Water is not cheap anymore, and the lawns will go ahead and start greening up if uh, this fellow over here ever lets us get any rain. It's natural. The lawns are taking a little longer to come out of their dormancy this year, but remember, you've still got one fertilizer uh, application to put on and it will not go down until Halloween but you know let mother nature take her course at this point. Andrew's so used to us blaming him for the weather mm -hmm. that he didn't even flinch when we I know, said that. Yeah, I know. But he doesn't poor, even laugh. Poor Andrew he, he gets all the he deserves stuff. It. Well we got to take a quick break but keep sending in your questions and we'll answer them all coming right up. 